Hi all. So today is the 28th of August. It is now exactly five weeks since my accident where I um, had a Weber B fracture of my fibula with the ankle dislocation um, and had a subsequent open reduction internal fixation of my right ankle. So this is what the scar is looking like now. Let's see if I can get the angle right for you. Get the camera in there. The swelling's gone down a lot. I've been using Voltaren, um, which is um, anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's got um, diclofenac, 100 grams, uh, one gram in 100 grams. I've also been using ibuprofen for the pain and inflammation. There we go. So that's helped. Oh, and vitamin D spray. Well, um, let's see if I can get this right here. Vitamin D spray. I don't know. I missed that one. <laughs> it's brilliant because they say you get your daily dose from a spray of a, one of this. And there's a thousand sprays in here. So you can get a good decent amount. It's not that expensive. So anybody who's in South Africa, this is great if you need vitamin D. And it tastes nice, almost like breath freshener. So that's what I've been using. Um, if you saw my vlog yesterday, um, yesterday was the day that I attempted to do um, taking up the laundry up the, la up the stairs with success, and it was great. Um, and uh, last night, it just I felt the pain. So... Um, and today it's been been quite painful as well. I've just taken another lot of um, ibuprofen now because it's hurting quite a bit. Um, and so I've been taking it easy today. I haven't really done much today. Um, I suppose the one thing that I'm learning is I'm learning to, you know, push myself, see how far I get. And then obviously if I do too much like I did yesterday, I know. Um, and then take it easy. Um, but there's certain things that I know I can do getting around. The other thing is, um, if I rest sufficiently, I, I manage to cope with my crutches, the elbow crutches, really well. Um, and my hands don't hurt, my arms don't hurt, and my left leg doesn't hurt. Because if I'm walking around a lot, I'm obviously standing on my left leg. And so that is taking majority of the weight while I'm standing. Um, doing things and so my hip as well my left hip hurts and my ankle hurts and my arms so I have found that if I rest enough like two or three hours between doing activities then um, my posture with using the crutches is good and then I don't feel the pain you know I don't I don't um, become weaker and my posture change with the crutches so that is the one thing that's definitely helped. Um, I can say my attitude in the last week, I think, has somewhat dulled because I'm in the transitional stage of my ankle feels a lot better than what it did before, but yet I'm not completely better. Um, so I've still got that restriction. So I'm struggling with that mental adjustment. So... Um, so my attitude, oh, my disposition hasn't been that great th this past week. Um, so I, that, that is the, the other thing. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to work, I must say. I've only been out four times this whole time. And most of the reasons are because I can't drive myself. Uh, my husband works. Um, and, you know, there's just, it's just... A busy day for the rest of the family so um, I, I'm stuck indoors which is not too bad because it's winter here current well it's coming out of winter it's in autumn now I mean spring sorry um, it's in spring um, so the weather weather hasn't been that great either and I'm needing to rest a bit more I'm able to catch up on things that I needed to get done in any case that I wouldn't have normally gotten done had um, I been going out although going out would have been great um, you just need to go with the right people um, and find people to take you out as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's that. Um, 
I have a lot of muscle atrophy. I don't know, you, you can't see it quite nicely with us. Let me see if I, the white pillow will get better without. Okay, it's more this section over here. My I used to have a lot of muscle over here compared to this leg. It's not a great comparison, but it's a little bit of a I think maybe if I do it on the other side. Um, so this is a longer video, I know. I'm still working on the video for everything, um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and incorporate some of the videos in into um, the compilation uh, video of from the incident to the end. Um, at six weeks, uh, I'm going to be, which is next week. Oh, sorry, I lied. Um, yeah, on the 9th, I am going for my follow-up with my orthopedic surgeon to hopefully hear from him whether I can start weight-bearing on, on the ankle. Um, I'm hoping he can say I can do that and preferably um, start physiotherapy as well. Like I said before in other videos, I have been keeping my foot out of the the brace when I'm lying in the bed and doing movements like this you know so I think I've got pretty good range um, but uh, I just want to be careful because the one thing I'm worried about is maybe the tendons um, maybe maybe overworking them too early um, and the ligaments I don't I'm not sure so that's one thing that I've, I'm keen to find out and to start the physio yeah so that is the update um my five week mark things are looking good and my scar is looking good <laughs> so anyway okay hope you all are well keep on uh, watching the videos I'm going to be posting all the time, letting you know what's going on, what I find works or not. The next thing that I want to do is I managed to find another way of going up and down the stairs. With the crutches, nothing too hectic, but now doing not one step on each step. Um, one foot on each step, but going down like I would normally go down. But I must say, I have to be careful. You have to be really concentrating, or I have to be really concentrating when I do that to make sure that I'm putting the, the crutches in the same spot and making sure my body weight is over the crutches. But I'll show you that in another video. Okay, have a good day.